The 0-400 to wing method is sweeping through the pellet grill world and promises to be the easiest method to give you crispy smoked wings in just one hour. Simply place the wings on a cold pellet grill, set it to 400, flip them after 30 minutes, and remove them after another 30 minutes. But does it actually work or is it all just hype? That's what we're going to find out in this video, so let's get smoking. Welcome to the Smoke Lab, guys. I'm Steve Gao, and in this show, I do crazy barbecue experiments you would never do at home so you can learn from my trial and error. A lot of YouTubers have been doing the 0 to 400 wing method recently. For example, Rum and Cook did a great video where he tests out the method, and Ash Kickin' Barbecue has an excellent video on the technique as well, both linked below. And most people are saying it's a really excellent method. Maybe not the best method, but still really good. But there's a really big problem. I've been seeing a lot of these posts on Facebook groups and forums recently where people try the 0 to 400 method and they pretty much just incinerate their wings. It kind of reminds me of the 3 to 1 rib method. Everyone was doing it and some people were getting really great results but a lot of people were overcooking their ribs and just making them inedible. And I'll just get up on my soapbox for a second guys. Sometimes when we follow these really simplified and buzzworthy techniques we might get really good results or we might get really bad results. But I find that if we follow them robotically then it's very easy easy to get subpar results because we kind of lose track of what the main goal of cooking that particular meat is. For chicken wings, it's to get them super juicy and to get a evenly crispy exterior. For ribs, we want them bite through and tender, but we don't want them mushy and fall apart. And for brisket, we want it probe tender with proper collagen and fat rendering. And it's often very difficult to achieve those things if we're just robotically following a recipe with time and temperature. But maybe the 0 to 400 wings method is different. We're going to find out. Here are the stars of the show, drums and flats. I'm seasoning them with some Fiesta steak seasoning. This stuff is really good on chicken wings. And there's nothing special about it. I rub one side, I flip them, rub the other side, then I'll let them sit for up to an hour on the counter to soak up that rub, but honestly you could just throw them right on the grill right away. And here's the other star of the show, the Oklahoma Joe's Rider DLX Pellet Grill. Now you might be wondering, should I put my wings on the top or bottom rack? I think it's very possible that putting the wings on the bottom rack directly near the heat source could scorch them. So I'm testing out the top rack as well as the bottom rack to see how they compare. Thank you Smokestack Joe for that idea by the way. Now I'm I'm closing the lid and setting the temperature of the grill of 400. That's right, we're putting the wings on cold and setting it to 400 right away. The theory is the wings will get some smoky flavor as the grill heats up and it produces a lot of smoke for the first 15 minutes or so. And then as we get to that 400 degree range, the smoke will pretty much be non-existent, but it'll be hot enough to crisp up the skin and create that perfect smoky, crispy wing. After 30 minutes, the wings look like this and even the ones on the bottom aren't really that burnt, although they are more cooked than the ones on the top rack and all of them are temping at around 170 degrees internal which is actually quite high some might consider them done but we still have another 30 minutes to go with this technique so I'm flipping them all over and letting them ride for another half an hour finally after an hour total the wings look like this the bottom rack wings look a little bit more charred than the top rack wings but the top rack wings actually don't look that bad they have some nice crisp to them so time for the taste test right actually no to really put this method to the test we need to compare it to other methods to get crispy smoky wings so I'm Placing a few wings in my air fryer, I smoked these wings separately for an hour at a very low temperature of 165 degrees for maximum smoke flavor, and now I'm finishing them in the air fryer for 10 minutes, and they came out looking super crispy. And now for my preferred method of making smoky crispy wings, I smoked these wings for an hour in a pellet grill at 165, so barely cooked, but they have a lot of smoke on them. And now I'm deep frying them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 10 minutes, and 10 minutes later they look like this. Super crispy, can't beat fried wings. Or maybe the zero to 400 method can, we're gonna find out now. All right guys, we have the zero to 400 wings here. I actually did a little bit of a different technique in this video and I did some wings on the bottom rack and I did some on the top rack, just so we can see the difference. The bottom ones do look like they're a little bit crispy, but they look pretty edible to me and the top ones look a little bit less crispy, but they might be more juicy, so we'll see. And to compare the zero to 400 method, I wanted to compare it against a method that I know is super crispy. So I deep fried some wings. I gave them a two hour smoke on super low first, and then I deep fried them. 
So those are those wings. And for the second method that I tested, I smoked them for two hours and then I fried them up in my air fryer. So we're gonna compare all of these wings. The first one I'm gonna try is the bottom rack wings. And I'm gonna invite my dad over here. Dad, can you come over here? My dad often films for me, so I'm just gonna pull him from behind the camera and get him as a taste tester. How Welcome you doing? smoke trailers. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna tank my ratings. They're gonna cancel me after this. Okay, dad, so you know what's going on here. We're gonna start with um, the bottom rack, uh, zero to 400 method wings, and just give me your honest opinion of what they taste like. Okay. I'm gonna taste one too. Crispy, but a little dry. Mm -hmm. Like, I need a lot of sauce. Yeah, I agree, that was hard to swallow. A little bit too dry for me. So that was the bottom rack, zero to 400 wings. Let's try out the top rack zero to 400 wings. I'll give you a uh, big drumstick here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what do you I, think of that one? I like this one. Yeah, a lot juicier, a lot juicier. Really good. Really good taste. Mm. I like that one. But not as crispy though. It didn't matter, it was still good. I like the skin. It, it was good, like it's still bite through, right? But which one was crispier, the bottom rack one or the top rack one? The top rack was crispier, but I prefer the, the... You mean the bottom rack one was crispier? Sorry, yeah, was, yeah, this okay. one over here. Yeah, but you preferred the... I do. Okay. So now let's try the air fryer wings. I'll give you one of these. So these were fried in the air fryer. Okay. Hey, this is not like wine. I'm not spitting it out. <laughs> How was that? Mm, I love that. So compared to this one, was it more crispy, less crispy? Crisper. Okay, so the air fryer wings are crispier. Do you taste any smoke on them? No. Did you taste any smoke on the zero to 400 wings? Slight. Yeah. Just slight. I agree, very slight taste slight. of. slight, okay. Yeah, I agree. Not very much on here though. No. Okay, so now let's try the, you can pick whatever you want. We're gonna try the deep fried wings. Okay. Well, these are juicy. These are good. Oh. Uh, mm. These are real good. They're crispy and they're juicy. I could eat those all day. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna dip one of these in some buffalo sauce. All right, guys, go try this one. Mm. <laughs> That's good, guys. Wow. This is very good. That's good, hey? I don't think you can beat the deep fried wings, guys. Mm. No, okay. this, is, this is for the relatives you don't like. <laughs> So guys, in conclusion, the zero to 400 method is great if you don't have an air fryer or deep fryer, but I got super crispy results deep frying it and air frying it that the zero to 400 wings couldn't even compete with. My dad agreed that the deep fried wings were the best ones he'd ever had. And so I think that the best method for smoked chicken wings is give them two hours on low smoke on your pellet grill and then deep fry them in oil. Or if you don't have a deep fryer, then use an air fryer. But as far as the zero to 400 method is concerned, I would only use it as a last resort if it was the only method that I had. So thanks so much for watching guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Oklahoma Joe's YouTube channel. I will see you in the next video. And until then, happy smoking.